What did you think when you first uh, read the script for this? Um, I thought this is a dangerous movie. If you get it a little bit wrong, you're, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous in terms of um, uh, artistically, conceptually. Do you ever get nervous? I mean, you are so good at what you do, but you're human. You have to think, oh my God, like if, if I don't do this right, it could be a huge disaster. Yeah. And do you ever freak out? No, I did a freak out on this one many times because it's because science, it's, there's an element of science fiction which I prefer to call science fact. That's why I try to ground everything in reality in terms of my, my performances, my actors, and, and also the world we touched, you know. But um, science fiction, if you get it just a little bit wrong, it can, you get one bad laugh in the audience and <laughs> mm -hmm. in serious trouble. Are you happy with the finished product? To be honest, it takes me time to evaluate. It takes me maybe six months or a year. I think I am, but you run so hard from the point you're actually shooting to now, and when you're editing now and in post, you, some days you love it, some days you hate it. You know, some days you think you screwed it up, some days you think, oh, this is pretty cool. So when you hate it, do you want to go back and reshoot? Yeah, always. Do you? Yeah, always go, ah, why didn't I shoot this sequence in this way? You but you know. can't, you no. can't go back. Oh, you, no, you can't. No, you can, but I don't. Well, no, because I, no, no, <laughs> no, but I learned that, you know, that, that there's, you know, if you, you know, I do a tremendous amount of homework before I shoot, so there's always something valid in what I've got, even though I thought I could have done, I always think I could have done better or done a little bit. So by the time I've lived it and twisted and pulled it a bit more, uh, I get it where I want to get it. Well, I'll tell you, those, those car chase scenes were unbelievable. Good. How hard were those to shoot? I mean, you have this, the screen from four days ago, and then you have the real stuff. No, hard in terms of, in terms of planning, in terms of, um, so, you know, making sure we got the, well, what I had to do was just before we went into the lab, so I shot the main bulk of the movie. I took two weeks down. We edited the time lab window. So we put the car chair stuff in the window. We put Paula in the window. And then we had to go back with the actors. And they had to, and obviously I had to make a decision to say this is the way the scene's going to go. So the actors have got to use this, this window as a third character. So they've got to, but sometimes that's hard with actors though. If they say, nope, I want to change it. And you go, oh. So what does Denzel do? Um, what kind of an actor is he? Hey, eh? also Denzel. Sometimes, depending on what day was, what, <laughs> what, what the morning was like, what the day was like, it was easy. Sometimes it was hard trying to say, "We've got to Denzel. We've got to channel it this way because this is what, this is what was in the, this is what I shot. And this is what was scripted." You know, so you've got to make sure every sign's off on, on, the, on where you're at before, you, before I shot the stuff for the window. Now, was New Orleans the original location in the script? No. So did you, you guys chose to, to shoot there after Katrina? Uh-huh. No, I chose to shoot there. Be, it was originally set as Long Island. And I was looking for something which, Long Island is beautiful, but I was looking for something which is um, a little more, what's the word, a little more, um, I'd, I'd call New Orleans, New Orleans romantic, um, different. Mm -hmm. um, it's more like a European city or Mexico city or something, you know. And uh, so I visited New Orleans on a scout. I was there an hour, so we're going to shoot it here. Then <clears throat> Katrina happened, and uh, and there was a big push and pull to get the let the studio let us go back there because they were scared, obviously, of insurance and health. Oh yeah. Yeah, but I got it. I got it. I won. Yeah, you won. It was a it was a very cool location. I mean, <clears throat> I kind of thought you guys chose it after to bring the economy back to the city, now <laughs> which I, I'm sure I, it kind of helped. Was, but it, it did it, and, it, and uh, people were so grateful for the fact that we brought this big Hollywood movie mm -hmm. then as, as a, sh a vote of confidence to the city at the point in time they needed a shot in the arm, you know, and, um, and also we brought, and apart from that, we brought, we did bring money, you know, but the main thing was that morale booster. Do you believe in deja vu, or does it happen to you a lot in, real, in your own life? Um, no, because I'm, I'm getting old, I'm trying to differentiate between loss of memory and deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get confused between, should I remember this person or have I been here? <laughs> or was it a real deja vu? But my wife has it all the time because she's sort of psychic. <laughs> okay. Deja vu. If you think it's just a feeling, go back and look again.